My name is Cecil Scheib, and I'm NYU's Director of Energy and Sustainability. If you were here on campus on uh, the 6th or 7th of July 2010, you remember how hot and sticky it was. On Tuesday it got up to 103 degrees, it was the hottest day on record. During the actual event, it is a true emergency situation. Like if we don't respond, we might have a blackout. And the whole campus had to find a way to adapt. We had to keep our mission going, the labs had to be open, classrooms had to be open, but we had to help stop like a citywide energy crisis. The single largest thing you can do in a building to save energy, especially when it's very hot and the AC is on full, is to dial back the AC. And so we ask our users to um, accept a higher space temperature during a curtailment. In 75 of NYU's largest buildings, we have what's called a smart meter in the basement, and it actually takes a constant reading on the uh, energy service into the building and it relays that information to a central database. And then we can, in real time, pull a graph out of that database and see campus-wide how we're doing in terms of our energy usage. We saved about 14,000 kilowatt hours during the event. And just, just to give a sense of what scale is, that's like taking 5,000 homes off the grid. I think sort of going through this process for the emergency uncovers many areas where we can save energy on an ongoing basis. Uh, shut off copiers or their printers that may not be in use. Shut off any sort of desktop machines that aren't in use. Turn off lights that are not in use. I think we did really well. And if you look at the graphs, you can see when the notice went out and when people started making a change. And I can tell by looking at the graphs of, of each building that we are really getting the message out.